So I got a few tags in this video. I just want to touch on a few things that he could have had better practices on. Um, I did comment on it, telling him to take the criticism and learn from it. So the first thing is he's using a flex to cover up that Romex coming out of the wall. That's a great decision there. A lot of the comments said he needed to use a disconnect. That's not necessary because his code is in 2008, he said his jurisdiction is. There he taped up the end of it. That's not necessary as long as you deburr the con conduit, meaning there's no shards or anything sharp sticking out. So he's got the Romex installed in the flex. I want to talk about that a little bit. The right thing there probably would have been to install a metal box in the wall and then use a cover plate that has a pre-made hole in it and then you can stick a connector on that plate. From there you could have ran a 90 degree connector out of that plate along the wall where he could have strapped it and then ran across the water heater flat with a 90 degree connector going into the water heater. So actually what he did there was not up to code. He didn't strap it at all, and he's just got free-floating flex in the wall there. So he's hooking up the wires here, and there's nothing wrong with what he did there, except for when he went to tighten up the wires. I don't like how he cranked down on those wire nuts. It's always a good practice to just pre-twist those. Uh, the internals of those is not made to crank down like that. So there he's got everything tucked away, and he's about ready to wrap this up. And I got to say, um, I was hoping it would make a little bit more clean of a swoop going in there. That's a little bit sloppy, but like I said, I really hope he learns from this. He looks pretty young and I'm pretty sure he will. He's posting content on here. So I got to say, keep it up and just learn from the criticism. Nice work.